Block Boy and family lose in court. Again. They will not get any money. Even liberal goes off. A federal court has thrown out the civil rights lawsuit filed by the family of the Irving teenager known as Clock Boy who built a clock resembling a bomb for a school science project. He and his family have since made quite a spectacle of themselves. They sued the media, as well as the city of Irving and Irving School District. It seems the family will not be garnering millions of dollars from the Irving ISD after all. At least he got his consolation prize. He got to meet with Obama at the White House. Ahmed's story went viral on social media and was invited to the White House, participated in Google's Science Fair and included in Time's Most Influential Teens of 2015 list. The family eventually moved to Qatar where Clock Boy was given a scholarship. Ahmed, a Muslim teenager who was 14 years old at the time, brought a homemade clock that looked like a bomb to school to show his engineering teacher. But an alarm on the clock went off in his English class and the teacher confiscated it. He was sent to the principal's office. The lawsuit claimed Ahmed's civil rights were violated when he was interrogated at length without his parents and arrested on hoax bomb charges. Police originally said Ahmed was not very forthcoming and the school was concerned that the device was possibly the infrastructure for a bomb. Officers acted in an abundance of caution. It was a very suspicious device. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to school. Of course we've seen across our country horrific things happen. We have to err on the side of caution, Irving Police Chief Larry Boyd said. The charges against Clock Boy were later dropped but the school still suspended him for three days. Ahmed and his family had also sued multiple media outlets and other conservative political commentators, including TV host Glenn Beck and his television network, The Blaze. Clock Boy also sued Fox television stations and Irving Mayor Beth Van Dyne. They lost. They also filed Islamophobia charges against Patriot and Daily Wire editor-in-chief, Ben Shapiro, and lost. And now is financially responsible for his stupidity. 162nd District Court of Texas ruled decisively against Muhammad Muhammad, father of Ahmed Clock Boy Muhammad, dismissing Muhammad's complaint against Daily Wire editor in chief Ben Shapiro and awarding Shapiro his attorney's fees as well. This is an excellent day for free speech, Shapiro said. Using law as warfare is perhaps the most disgusting tactic of politically correct activists across the country and we couldn't be more excited to stand up against such frivolous use of our court system. My initial comments suggested that false charges of Islamophobia only muddy the waters when it comes to policing actual dangerous activity, and I'm proud to fight back against such charges. Political correctness lost another battle. I have always been of the belief that the school jumped too quick, and made the situation worse. Since that time, Clock Boy and his family have used the issue and actually abused the boy in the process, and caused all kinds of unnecessary chaos. All for political gain. It came with a monetary price. Maybe that will end this nonsense with Clock Boy. Clock Boy.